Hi, I'm Susie. Hi, I'm Gavin. Hi, I'm Kieran. Hi, I'm David. Johnson Matthey is a global company manufacturing a wide range of specialty chemical products. These include catalysts, which control pollution from vehicles. These are fitter to cars and reduce emissions from the exhaust pipe, ensuring that the air around us is clean and safe to breathe. Today the quality of our air is very good and governments around the world set standards to maintain air quality. Fifty years ago it wasn't the case at all. Back then vehicle exhaust was identified as a major contributor to air pollution. So in the 1970s the Clean Air Act was passed which was really a revolutionary piece of legislation to tackle the problem. Chemists at Johnson Matthey and other companies developed catalysts to convert the exhaust pollutants into harmless gases. In 1974, Johnson Matthey produced the world's first ever commercial autocatalyst here in Royston to be used in a catalytic converter for a petrol-powered car. The autocatalyst is often known as a three-way catalyst because it converts three different types of gaseous emissions. We have hydrocarbons, carbon monoxide and oxides of nitrogen or NOx. Even the very best engines are not 100% efficient. As a result, there is incomplete combustion of fuel and air this leaves some undesirable emissions such as unburned hydrocarbons and carbon monoxide and oxides of nitrogen. This is an example of a catalyst that we have developed to convert hydrocarbons, carbon monoxide and oxides of nitrogen into less harmful gases before it leaves the exhaust of the car. The catalyst is usually a ceramic block which we call the substrate. Now the substrate has lots of tiny channels running through it and it is these channels that we call with a precious metal catalyst. In a heterogeneous catalyst the gases flow through the channels in the catalyst and the precious metal species in the coating actively promote or catalyse the chemical reactions for emissions control. Uh, so they reduce the levels of hydrocarbon, carbon monoxide and nitrogen oxides by over 90%. There are several important factors in developing a good catalyst. It needs to have high selectivity so it converts as much of the pollutants to the harmless gases as possible. It needs to have high activity, so it performs the reactions efficiently and quickly. It also needs high durability, so it can withstand the harsh conditions inside a car exhaust. It also needs to have a long life, so that it lasts the lifetime of the vehicle without a loss in performance. We must carefully formulate the active precious metals to form the coating. We call this coating a wash coat, which is then applied to the substrate. The precious metals we use are very expensive, so we are constantly working on our formulations so that we use less precious metal but still achieve the same or better performance in the catalyst. Our chemists and engineers work together to formulate the wash coat so that when it is applied to the substrate, the active precious metals form a thin coating of finely dispersed, very small particles. This is important, as to make the catalyst perform better, we have to make sure it has a very higher surface area possible which is equivalent to about the size of three football pitches. We also test our catalysts under real conditions to ensure they remove the harmful pollutants to levels that meet government standards. We test on a small scale in the laboratory using a small core of catalysts. Then in the test cells where we test actual catalysts on real engines. In these tests we have to speed up the aging of the catalyst so it simulates the length of time it will be used in the car. We test activity, selectivity, lifetime and durability of the catalysts. Sometimes catalysts can be poisoned by impurities that are present in the fuel, um, for instance lead or sulphur. So it's important to check that the wash coat formulations we've developed will be able to cope with that poisoning. And then we test them on real cars, like this. Once we are happy with our catalysts, we manufacture them on a very large scale. The catalyst on each model of car is bespoke, so as car companies continue to launch new models, we are constantly working on and developing new catalytic formulations to give to them. Today, over 75 million cars are produced each year around the world. About one in every three cars is fitted with the Johnson Matthey catalyst. Legislation is also in place to control emissions from trucks and buses, and new regulations are being introduced for other fuel-burning vehicles, such as diggers, tractors, ships and trains. Johnson Matthey also manufactures catalysts to control emissions from power stations too. Since their introduction in 1974, our catalysts have removed around 4 billion tonnes of pollutants from the atmosphere. 
chemists play a vital role in developing the very latest catalysts and technologies for emission control and on making sure we all have clean air.